Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. If you're watching this, why aren't you going out fishing? Enjoying the tug. Okay, tug addicts, we're going to talk about uh, doing something that my wife and I never did yes before. We're going tomorrow, and we're going trolling for trout. I went with my buddy John Adams yesterday, and we ended up catching, uh, I think it was 21 trout, and we only kept uh, seven in the range of the 15, 16 inch range. And we threw the rest back. Uh, we had a good time. Fish were on, uh, probably as the tide got up a little bit more. But when that barometric pressure dropped, John's always looking at his watch at the barometric pressure. Uh, it's the drop bite dropped off. I don't know if there's anything to do with that or we weren't in the right spot at the right time or didn't have the lures deep enough or whatever it may have been, but the, the drop, it just, it dropped off. We'd already been out a couple of hours by then. So we decided to call it quits. I had some errands to run that afternoon and, and uh, I'm in market and I bought a, a new GoPro to try to do some things out on the boat. to be a little more simpler than my older one so far as just, talking to it or touching the screen to turn things off and on so we can have some some video while we're out fishing for the people who ask about that kind of stuff. Uh, some of the comments this morning I want to go over. We didn't get a whole lot of comments yesterday. I don't know. We just didn't have a whole lot of views or people just don't comment. But we, uh, we need the comments to come up so we do have things and material to discuss with the channel. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing I want to go over I had a gentleman by the name of uh, Mike McDevitt from Houston, Texas, call me a couple of days ago. And long story short, he needed to order another knife, the eight inch knife, which he really loves for skinning. Uh, with these bigger fish that he's catching, he's catching some really nice reds and also some uh, bull red snapper. A red snapper, excuse me, I get this straight. He had some really nice red snapper, and he also told me he caught nine bull reds. So with those larger fish, instead of using that eight-inch skinning knife that we have, uh, which we call a boning knife uh, in the business, go for that larger one that you'll see on our site, cleanyourcatch.com. It's the 14-inch stainless steel knife with the dimples in it. It allows you to have more air pocket between the skin and the flesh, and it helps uh skin those larger trout that the type that uh excuse me not the larger trout the larger reds and and uh red snapper that that mike was catching uh go out on your go on your line go online and look at uh let me see if i got it correct it was jet ski fishing 12 uh 12 8 2020 and you'll see him going out on his jet ski and he's out of uh houston texas and he ties up those oil rigs out there and they fish on the bottom for these fish. And he's got a real good, real good two minute video. Uh, I'm not in the old, I'm the old school guy. I'm not the new generation. So the music in the background, I had to turn down a little bit, but it made it exciting. Check it out. He did a really good job on that video. Uh, thanks again, Mike, for sending me that and uh, calling me and, and enjoyed the conversation we had about different types of fishing. The next thing I want to go over is uh, uh, Ben Barry. He did respond to uh, what time for us to do these videos. He said it suggested anywhere between five to nine. I wish people would, would come on and, and comment and let me know what time is best for you. And maybe we'll get an average so we can kind of satisfy most of the people out there. Because we, uh, we do want a lot of coverage on that so that we can get more comments so we have material to build and answer questions. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to go over was when, when, you're, when you're out fishing for different fish in different times of the day, don't stay in one place. Uh, John and I moved around quite a bit yesterday. As like a matter of fact, we first place we wanted to go to, somebody was sitting on his drop. And... Uh, we had to wait, and by the time he left, the bite was kind of off in that area because it was too high. So it's important to keep moving. Uh, tomorrow is going to be interesting to see how the trolling is going to be here where I live in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, my buddy Gary Thompson yesterday, he was out. They killed him a day or two before. And then yesterday, I don't think he caught but one or two fish. So you just never know. You got to go fishing. 
And, uh, I think I may have told you once before when you, uh, you got a book I had, I think it was the top 10 things to catch more fish and fish. And the first thing was to fish more often, go often. The last thing on the list was take a six pack of beer in case the fish aren't biting. Uh, I want to kind of end these segments in, in by side saying, uh, don't forget to hit the bell and don't forget to subscribe and, <clears throat> and leave your comments and the thumbs up, all the things that we want you to do. It only takes a second to click that. It helps the channel. I want to end it with some things I got. I can't remember if it was my buddy Dale Ashman of Vinnie Wells that sent me a, a, uh, a text message one day and the text message referred to uh, things of the past, nostalgia things. And the one, first one I'm going to go over today is you remember when it took three minutes for a TV to warm up. Let me know how many people can remember that and maybe know even when the day was that you didn't have a color TV. It was black and white. Okay, guys, to you tug addicts out there, remember, take a kid fishing and you can't catch them on the couch. Have a good day and tight lines to you.